Welcome to this short tutorial video on stock records. To access stock records select stock then click all stock records in the left hand panel. The stock record screen will be displayed. Within the stock record screen you can search for existing active or suspended stock records. You can edit existing stock records and are able to add stock records. You can also create a CSV export file of the stock records by clicking the export button located in the top right corner of this screen. To add a new stock record click the add stock action button as being shown now. The add stock record screen will be displayed. Within this screen you can select existing part or equipment records. If the item you wish to add as a stock record has been added to your system as an equipment item select the equipment radio button as being shown now. It is possible to add new part or equipment categories or part or equipment records whilst staying within this screen by using the icon to the right of the drop down fields. Please refer to our other videos for details on setting up parts and equipment items in your system if required. Select the required part or equipment item using the drop down fields and enter a value in the quantity in stock field. You can optionally update the minimum holding field too if required. Use the select location drop down field to set the stock location for this stock record and use the select rack shelf drop down field to set the rack or shelf within the selected stock location. Click the save button to continue. The stock record details screen will be displayed. Within the details tab you can access the edit button to update the values in the available fields if required. Clicking the three dots button at the top right of this screen will display the option to delete the stock record subject to your user permissions. Clicking on the stock location tab will display the stock locations list that the selected stock record has transactions recorded against it. To add an additional stock location for the selected stock record click the add stock location button and complete the fields in the add stock location window as being shown now. Once saved you will be returned to the stock location list screen. Clicking on the stock location description within the stock location list will take you to that specific stock location record. Clicking on the orange edit button to the right of the stock location list will display the edit stock location screen. Within this screen you can modify the minimum holding value and quantity in stock value if required. If you click on the three dots button to the right of the stock location line item you will be presented with the delete and transfer stock buttons. Please refer to our video on stock transfers for more details regarding the stock transfer process. Clicking on the audits tab will display the stock audits list screen. Within this screen you can search on date ranges and select specific stock transaction types by selecting the required option in the type drop down field. Depending on the types being displayed there may be a link to navigate to the job or purchase order record where the stock transaction was recorded. This concludes the short tutorial video on stock records. Thanks for watching.